Shelby, and we want to talk about today's topic. We want to talk about compassion. Compassion. Why is compassion important? For me, I've come to realize compassion is important because, for number one, that's an emotion that most, if not all of us have, but we don't use. Here's an example. I'm going through life, I'm successful, I have everything I need, um, I'm really into me, really into me. Um, but at the same time though, I have value systems of, maybe if I see a homeless person, um, I automatically just judge, just, oh man, look at this dude. Or say I have a family member, they might not be as successful as me, so automatically I assume, oh, they ain't shit. Uh, or, um, you know, I'm at the store and maybe a store clerk isn't moving as fast as I might desire. And so I go, oh my God, what's wrong with, oh, sh somebody else need to be here. Let me speak to your manager. All these little things can be cured by a tablespoon of compassion. Not even a cup, not a bowl, just a little tablespoon for a little compassion. Case in point, the person that's homeless, of course I can't live their life and I can't go save them and make everything better, but I think it's important for us sometimes, at the very least, to even show a kind smile, a wave. And for some of us, we don't mind giving $2 or whatever, no matter what they're going to do with it. That's their prerogative. But that is an act of compassion. Now, here's the important thing in it. When we extend ourselves in that way, we open a part of the spirit or a part of the soul that taps into love. And so the energy or the vibration or frequency of love is so healing and instrumental. Even though it appears that our society is addicted to hate, addicted to non-compassion, addicted to only care about you myself but guess what it's not all about you if we had more of that type of understanding do you think that we would be going through most of the things that we go through in society as far as like unhappiness if we would just care a little bit more if we would just try to understand a little bit more which is a derivative of compassion. The other day, I was working with a mentee. And the mentee was explaining to me about they have a position to where they deal with other people. And they're very new to the profession. The mentee was explaining to me, Will, this person should know better, they should do better, it should be yada, yada, yada. And he was explaining he had been patient for a long time, but he's reached his breaking point. He doesn't understand why. Why won't they just do better? My explanation was, here's where compassion can solve the dilemma that's not going on in them because they're exactly where they're supposed to be at. There's a dilemma going on with you. If I'm a teacher-student, if I'm a parent-child, if I'm a co-worker, boss, boss, co-worker, or employee, whatever the case, having compassion. Let me step back from the actual situation, no matter what position I'm in, and how can I just not get caught up on what's happening, but get caught up on, hey, it's okay. They're okay. It's going to be okay. And let me redirect, refocus on what I want to see from this situation or this person. And do it gladly with enthusiasm. Because the truth about it is, there's an old saying, you catch more bees with honey. And so, while I was explaining to my mentee, slow down. First of all, 
Whether your mentee makes it or not is not a reflection of you. Whether your child does great or not is not a reflection of you, particularly if you've given them everything they can possibly use tool-wise to overcome. So don't get caught up in measuring your worth upon if they succeed because of what you've done in their lives. You're just a messenger. Everybody is, ex is responsible for their own journey. I cannot, you cannot live or walk nobody else's journey. May it be well with you and peace be upon you. It's your boy Will. This is some news you can use, man. Peace.